Hi there, I'm Tesla and in this tutorial for the Unreal Engine 4 we're going to look at implementing some camera shake. So for example, we could use this for some head bob for when the character moves but in this tutorial I'm just going to use it like we're feeling a shockwave off an explosion. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is drag in this particle explosion. I'm going to scale it up a bit so it looks kind of like a large explosion. And we want to turn off auto activate because we want to activate it ourselves through the level blueprint. So we'll come to the level blueprint. Let's say we press F and the explosion will activate. Okay, so let's say when it explodes like that, we have some camera shake going on. So our player's like feeling the shockwave of it. So to do this, let's just come to an empty folder so you guys can see. I'm going to right click, add a blueprint. It's going to be under custom classes and you'll find camera shake. So we'll, we will select that and let's name this camera shake one. And we can open this up now. Now we're not going to do anything in the graph, but if we come to the defaults tab, you see we have all the settings for the oscillation here. So we can control the pitch and the yaw and the roll, but we're not going to use roll. We're just going to add some amplitude. Let's say we use, um, let's just say we use one and one, and let's say we use 25 here, 25 here, and the duration. Let's say it's going to be it's a shorter explosion, so let's use 0.5. And you can blend in and blend out the camera shake as well as you have a smooth transition, but we're just going to leave it as that. So we can close this now and let's link it up with the explosion. So to do this we're going to get the player controller drag this out and we're going to type in client play camera shake. So we've got some settings here, we've got the target which is our player controller we have the shake and we've created a shake blueprint here so we can actually select that and the scale so this is just basically how powerful it's going to be how much force it's going to use so let's just turn this all the way up to let's say just 20 okay so we can close that and now that will do so now when I press G we shall have a camera shake sorry F there we go and it's as simple as that so thanks for checking this one out it's been a really quick tutorial looking at how to add a camera shake using blueprint cheers guys and make sure you stay subscribed